Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Mr. Pterodactyl McSwoopenstein. I just made that up. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Planet X Callus. Callus? Cialis? I don't know how to pronounce this. C no, it's not Cialis. Cialis is that drug that makes you... Anyway. Um, no, Kalis? No, Kal isn't that the Klingon's god? Kalis? 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 I don't know. It's. I think it's Kalis. I think it's Kalis. I'm going to call him Kalis. Anyway, here we are. There he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. A big picture of Kalis's chest and on this side I just made him take a nosedive and on this side the not much on the other side not much and I guess that's that's warning that's what that is on the top not much on the bottom not much on the back you get a nice picture of callus all like ground pound he's doing that so that's basically it for the box and, of course, in the box you get, guess what? You get instructions. Yay, it comes with those. whoop de doo And you get the obligatory third-party collector's card with that same picture. Ground pound! Yes, that's what he's doing. And some tech specs on the back of Kalis, Kalis, Cialis. However you pronounce that word, I don't know. So, <laughs> there you have that. And here he is. Now, of course, Planet X... They released that ENORMOUS War for Cybertron Omega Supreme, and now they decided to release something that actually fits in your hand and doesn't weigh a thousand pounds. So, <laughs> this is their version of Fall of Cybertron Swoop. And, um, looks very, very nice. Now, right off the bat, this is just a repro label sticker that I, I stuck on there myself. Doesn't come with that, but I had to do it. Um, but yeah... Looks very nice, a very nice representation of uh, Fall Cybertron Swoop. Just looks really, really good. Some decent paint apps, nice molded and detailing. Looks just very, very good all around. Getting closer on the head. Looks pretty cool and just nicely done. I don't know why he has like, he has like handlebars here. I don't know what those are for. That's kind of weird, but hey, whatevs. Got a big thruster going on back here. He does have his little feet. Um, Articulation-wise, he can uh, move his head up and down. He can open his mouth. Uh, the wings are on a joint here. You have a joint here as well as a uh, rotation here. So you can pivot the wings slightly. You can bring them up on that joint. You also have a joint here, and you also have a joint here at the tip. And he also has these little hands here. That can move up and down, and they can also rotate. And the back feet are on two hinges here, so they can move all the way back. Pivot here, pivot here, and you can angle them however you want. You can have them in total total flight pose going on there. So, he looks cool. It looks very cool. From the underside, you can see a lot of robot going on down there. Just arms, legs. But, hey, it is what it is. What do you expect? But still, very cool, very, very nicely done, uh, nicely done old mode here. I love the way this, this centerpiece looks, looks really cool. But yeah, all around, very, very nicely done. He does actually have good light piping, if you get the light in there just right, there we go, you kind of see the eye glowing, right there. If you get that light getting in to his top piece just right, his eyes do glow quite a bit, so he's very, very nice. Let me get him here in a nice, uh perched stance like that and for comparison we'll bring in follow Cybertron Grimlock so you can see how he looks with his fellow Dinobot buddy so pretty good size I, I obviously I think Grimlock is supposed to be way bigger but still I, I still think they look uh, look quite good together um the uh, color-wise, um, kind of matches. The gray on Callus is a bit darker, but for the most part, the paint scheme does match up pretty well. So it does give them a nice unified look. 
So I'm digging that. Um, just to address one thing, uh, uh, people have been asking me if I was going to get the, uh, that Cretaceous Advancement Kit. It's basically just an upgrade for this guy, and it comes with the little belly plate, and it comes with uh, a G1 Accurate Head Sculpt that you can pop on there, and it also comes with the bigger sword and shield. Um, I'm not going to buy that. I'm, I'm not going to get it because, frankly... For what I'm going to use out of that box, I don't feel like it's worth it. I mean, Big Bad Toy Store is selling that for $30. And honestly, the belly plate, I don't care. I mean, I know this enrages some people. I don't really care because I don't display my figures upside down. So I don't really notice it that much when he's in dino mode. And I don't have him in dino mode. I have him displayed in robot mode. So that belly plate serves no purpose for me whatsoever. The, uh, the G1 head sculpt is nice, but it's a G1 head sculpt, and this is not G1, this is Fall Cybertron, so it would totally throw off the accuracy of what the figure is going for. So I would not be using the head. Um, the bigger sword and shield, I want that. I, I said that when I reviewed this guy. I was like, please, third-party companies, make a bigger sword and shield, please. But I'm not going to pay $3 plus shipping for a slightly bigger sword and shield. It just... To me, financially, that just makes no sense. Um, if they were selling just the sword and the shield for like 10, maybe 15, then we can talk. But for $30 plus shipping, it's not worth it to me just to have a bigger sword and shield while everything else stays in the box. I just, I, 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 I can't talk myself into that. I mean, I bought, I bought the, uh, the, the little upgrade kits. It's not really an upgrade. Well, I guess you can call it an upgrade for a uh, Terminus Hexatron, which is the two, uh, chrome plated guns and the, uh, chromed out helmet. That was only $8. That to me makes more sense. So, you know, sell me just that bigger sword and shield for like 10 bucks. I'll be all over it. But 30 bucks plus shipping for that is, is just, I can't do it. So, unfortunately, you'll never see a review of that unless they dramatically drop the price on it. But, um, yeah, anyway, Grimlock, Swoop, that's how they, how they look together. They look good together. Very nice. So, on to Callus. Callus, he's Callus, I guess. I don't know. He also does come with weapons. He comes with two missile launchers. Right there, you can see. They look pretty cool. They, they don't fire. There's no firing mechanism. They're, it's all just one solid molded piece, but still pretty nicely done. It has that, uh, that you know, follow Cybertron, War for Cybertron vibe. So yeah, that. He also comes with two swords. And these are very nicely done. I would have liked it if the blades were the, uh, the transclearing plastic like Grimlocks. I mean, that would have been cool. And you can see there's definitely a, a unified scheme going on there with the weapons. So I dig that, but it really would have been nice if this had that transclearant orange plastic like Grimlock's sword. That would have really made it for me, but unfortunately it doesn't. But hey. Now you can take these, and there are ports under the wings. And you can plug the missiles underneath the wings. And you can also take the swords, and you see they have, uh, they have posts on either side. You can take them and plug them into the ports right here, oh, should do it that way, plug those ports in, or plug those swords into the ports rather, plug those in, and you can basically have your weapon storage, so you can have all kinds of swords and missiles, you can shoot you and shank you at the same time, you can do that, because he's gangsta, oh yes, one other piece of articulation, he does have these little back fins right here, that you can pivot up and down, and these back here too also pivot up and down, to get that little bit of articulation there. I usually have him just kind of angled back. So, there you have that. He's swoop. He's He looks really cool. Very, very nice. I dig it. I dig it very much. Let's get down to transformation. So, let's take all this stuff off for now. Put that off to the side. And let's get down to the nitty and the gritty. First thing you're going to do is just going to take these little back fins right here. Flip these up. Flip the little hands down. Do that, do that, and now you're going to come down here, take these arms and untab them. You see they just tab into the sides of the legs right there. Untab those, and you got to take the legs and unplug those, and you'll see when you pull this down, you can say just plug in right into the chest here. So unplug that, unplug that, fold the legs down, oh, and you do have to have the, uh, the, uh, the feet 
up like that. If not, it does kind of uh, hinder the movement there. So make sure that these are actually in the upright position before you straighten out the leg. Otherwise, they will not straighten out for you. So once you have that done, you're just going to rotate the leg at the thigh. 180. Then you're going to take this and bring it back, and that'll be your heel spur. Then you're going to take this piece right here and flip that in. Second verse, same as the first. Flip back the heel, flip, flip back the heel spur. This is the point of the review where my tongue stops working. Flip that up, and there you have his legs all done. Now, you're going to come back here. You're going to untab these side pieces here of the backpack. These side pieces here are on their own hinge. So you're going to untab that, it tabs in right there, untab this side like that, and you're going to take the sides of the chest here, you're going to untab them, and you'll see you're not moving them up very much. They tab in right there, and then you're going to just move them up to this tab right here. So you're just going to take that, shift it up, tab it up there. There you have that. Second verse into the first, just untab it, bring it up, then tab it back in. And then you're also going to take this whole backpack assembly, and it's on a double hinge, and you're going to raise that up, like so. That way you can tab these thrusters back into that same tab, like that. So basically you're just lining it all up, just a little higher up on his body. So, once you do that, you want to rotate the forearms, open up this little panel, Flip out his fist, close it back up, second verse same as the first, open that up, flip out the fist, close it up, take the uh, pterodactyl head, bring it down, it doesn't lock into place or anything, but the joint is stiff enough that it's not going to flop around or anything, do that, bring up his shoulder pads, and again you can angle the wings however you want, I mean the instructions tell you to like, you know, Angle them up like that, bring them up, and then bring them down on that hinge. Totally up to you what you want to do with the wings. But there you have Callus. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Take this little panel right here and just flip that back. That fills in that gap in the leg. Oop, there you go. Almost forgot, but I remembered. So there you have Callus in his robot mode, and he looks cool. Me likes, me likes very very much very nice sculpt i dig it i dig it very much and he does have very good light piping here you can see right there how his eyes just glow when the light gets in there just right and even now like even the uh these are uh, transclear pieces on his chest the light you know just gets right in there and makes that light up really nice so very cool effect and all around a very nice sculpt again really like what they did with this figure it's very, very nicely done. He just looks really good. Very nice. Got the jetpack on his back now. Just, you know, really, really digging this. I like it. I like it very much. Cool head sculpts and nice paint apps going on there. I dig it. I dig it the most. And, of course, you can give him weapons. Um, you know, he can, of course, hold these. Or can he? No, he can. He can, he can hold them. So, of course, you can hold him here, or he does have ports underneath his forearms, so you can mount them like that if you want. Mount them in under here, like that, all underslung-like, or you can just take them and plug them back onto the wings. What did I just do with the other one? Oh! <laughs> I totally forgot that I had already plugged this one in. I'm looking on the table for it. Where did it go? What happened to it? This is the point of the video where my brain stops working, apparently. Well, that happens more than often than anything, but, you know, whatever. But you can... <laughs> Where's the sword? I don't know where it is. Oh, God. Uh, curse my brain. And, of course, it can hold his swords. Where'd the other sword go? Oh, it's right in my hand. You can hold both the swords. For some reason, this one does not want to go all the way through. Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. You can hold both the swords. 
can dual wield swords, dual wield missile launchers, he can dual wield a lot of stuff, and he looks very cool doing it. Let me take these out of his hand for a second here, just to show off the articulation. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. Um, not a lot of sideways movement, but he can he can look up, he can look down, and you know, you can get some some good expression out of him. Uh, the shoulders can do a full 360, although the, the wings do get a bit in the way. Nice clickety-clackety joint there on the shoulder. Um, you do get your elbow joint. Uh, no wrist swivel, unfortunately. I know that apparently enrages people when there's no wrist swivel, but there's no wrist swivel. Oh, no, it's the worst figure ever. No wrist swivel. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, he does have a waist joint. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. You get a nice thigh swivel. You get a nice full range of movement here on the knee. And you get your feet can go, you know, up and down as well as the heel spur. So, you can still get some pretty good poses out of him. And he is still quite a very, very cool toy. Even though he doesn't have a wrist swivel. <laughs> uh... I'm still getting that Galvatron, that, that Unique Toys Galvatron. I don't care. Wrist swivels, I could give a rat's you-know-what about. That thing is awesome. But, um, yeah, this, anyway, is a very, very cool figure. I'm just digging this so much. Let me put his swords back in. His hands. It's really digging it. And again, you can, you know, angle these wings however you want. But I'll just leave them like that for now. But yeah, loving this guy, loving him. Now for comparison, and here he is with his buddy Grimlock. And as you can see, I think that scale is pretty good. I think that works. But um, yeah, they 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 look good together. They really do look good together. They just it it fits. It works, and I really really like that. So there he is with his buddy Grimlock. But yeah, as as far as as this guy is concerned. Very cool toy, you know, I, I think Planet X did a great job with him, he's just, he's super solid, he's just a very nice sturdy figure, the plastic feels nice and, and sturdy, nothing on this guy has felt, you know, fragile or brittle or anything, I've, I've messed with this guy quite a bit and have had no problems with him whatsoever, so, he is a nice dead solid toy as far as I'm concerned. Um, Again, the only real minor nitpick that I have is that I wish that the swords were that transparent orange plastic. That really would have completed the look for me. And, you know, it just would have uh, made these guys look a little more unified if they had the same kind of swords. But not the end of the world. Not a deal breaker. He's still a very cool figure. Very happy to have him. And I hope that Planet X does the rest of the Dinobots because that would be awesome to have the whole team, uh, you know, the whole Fall Cybertron Dinobot team together because I... I want that. I really want that. If Hasbro doesn't do it, then Planet X definitely needs to do it. So, this guy, very cool figure. I would definitely recommend him. He's he's cool. Really, really digging him. So, I think that's it for this guy. So, don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Planet X Callus. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs>